Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be doing an update of Edinburgh International Airport. Um, yeah, so not a lot has changed. I don't think there's any new planes. As I said, I'm kind of focusing on getting planes for Baltimore and, you know, in the meantime getting them for Dulles and Reagan. So Edinburgh is kind of my lowest focus at the moment, but I'm still, I'm still looking towards getting new planes as there's a lot of news regarding Edinburgh, the actual airport, uh, new airlines and such, which I'll go into detail at the end. Um, but yeah, so I guess apart from that, we're just gonna get into the video. So uh, in front of you here, we have a United 757-200. This has just been pushed back and is about to head out to Washington Dulles, which is a new route that opened up about a month or two ago. Um, so yeah, this is a very exciting new route. Then here we have an American 757-200 about to head out to New York, John F. Kennedy. Empty gate. Then we have an Egypt Air 737-800. Uh, this is just about to head out to Cairo. Uh, United 757-300. This is about to head out to Newark. Then we have a Turkish Airlines A321 with sharklets about to head out to um, Ankara. And then here, um, this is one of the the sadder parts of the news, um, Etihad is actually going to stop services to Edinburgh on the 31st of uh, September, which is very sad, um, but in a good sense, Emirates is starting the day uh, after this airline uh, stops coming here. So I have a feeling it's something to do with that, um, but I don't know, it might just be a coincidence. Then here we have an Air Canada Rouge 763. Oh, I never said where this was going to. Abu Dhabi, that's where that one's going to. Then here we have an Air Canada Rouge 763 heading out to Toronto Pearson. Sorry, my hands are a bit shaky. I don't know why they are. Um, but yeah, so if you don't know, this side is the intercontinental kind of side. Even though Turkey's partly in Europe, it's also partly not. So that comes over here. Uh, we have nothing on the runway at the moment. Uh, but just holding short of the runway, we have two planes. First off, we have an Aer Lingus A320. Uh, this is just about to head out to Dublin. And behind that, we have a Flybe Q400. Sorry for the lighting. Um, this is about to head out to London Heathrow, which is a relatively new route um, that came into action about a year ago. Um, it's very unusual to have an airline like Flybe uh, operating Q400s to Heathrow, it's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, I would like to get like another Flybe as they're quite prominent to Edinburgh. Um, they have quite a few routes, so, you know, maybe a few more, but I probably won't have that chance since they're very rare. Then down here on the European side, we have an Air France A320 about to head out to Paris, CDG. KLM 737, Amsterdam. British Airways uh, A319 about to head out to Belfast or Callum Fokker's airport. Empty gate. Lufthansa A320 just pushing back for Frankfurt or um, Constant Nose Aviation 30s airport. And then there we have the plane I went to Rome on, uh, which is the British Airways A321. That's about to head out to, blah, blah, blah. That's about to, head out to London Heathrow and then down here. We have the KLM uh, ERJ190. Uh, this is just about to head out to Amsterdam as well as the other KLM. Uh, so that is it. So I'm just gonna pop the phone down somewhere where I'll, I'll probably get a shot of the up there. Yeah, I'll put the phone down there and then I'll talk about news. So this now is regarding news uh, for Edinburgh. So there's a few new airlines that are um, going to Edinburgh. Um, so we have Emirates on their 777-200, um, which is the only Emirates aircraft I do not have, so I'll have to get one of them. Uh, also Hainan Airlines uh, from China, I believe, is um, gonna start, I think, two destinations from Edinburgh, which is quite unusual, but um, there we go. It's very interesting, I hope. I haven't seen what they're gonna be operating on. I hope like a 787 or something, probably a 787. Um, considering Edinburgh's size and things like that. I'm also trying to get my hands still on a Qatar 787-8. Uh, we'll see that how that goes and also a third United uh, 757 as they have three 
three daily flights to Edinburgh from America. One from Dulles, one from Newark, and one from Chicago. Um, also Delta now have a seasonal flight to New York on their 767. So again, I'm trying to get hands on that. And then all the European airlines, they just don't stop, do they? Um, I'd love to get a few EasyJets and Ryanairs, obviously, because they're so prominent at Edinburgh in real life. Um, but yeah, also I'm thinking of going up to Edinburgh. Um, I've just looked up flights. You can actually get a flight up there for £34 on the... I'm going to be going there for two days, hopefully, and it is to catch the final flight of the Etihad A330 and the first flight of the Emirates 777 because they're a day after each other. Um, so that'll be interesting. I do not have enough money to actually go on one of those flights, either the last Etihad flight or the first Emirates flight. Um, but I'll have enough money to get up to Edinburgh, um, probably on Ryanair or EasyJet because I'm poor. <laughs> and um, yeah, um, and go see that. Um, so that'll be very interesting. Um, as I said, I'm still building up my aircraft collection for Baltimore. Baltimore is now in the works. Um, I've I've pretty much got the the because um, it's very confusing how I'm doing it. It'll be a permanent airport, unlike um, Dulles and Edinburgh. Now these these are actually temporary, so I put them away and then bring them out whenever I want to. Uh, Baltimore is actually going to be permanently out. Um, and it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna have one of those L brackets, but the big ones for shelves, and it's gonna be stuck to a wall. So, yeah, it'll be very interesting. Um, so, yeah, again, with the eBay whole situation, I'm actually trying to figure that out and how to do that. Um, but my, as I said, my bank account is being a pain in the bum. So, you know, um, I'll get that eventually. Um, and I'm thinking of selling a few of my older cameras, uh, like maybe my T5i, my 1200D, maybe a few of the Sony ones. Um, so if you are interested, um, just keep aware and I will make a separate video when my eBay is up and running. Um, so yeah, um, that is kind of it. There's nothing much more to say. Um, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.